Hello beautiful Pisces, welcome back to Intuitive Energies and um, Happy New Year's Eve. Last day of 2021. Unbelievable. It's, it even feels strange to say it. I feel that 2021 just kind of went by, honestly. Um, yeah, a lot of internal work but so occupied in my own mind that I feel like today's just kind of went into each other. I feel that the vibe has slightly changed in the last month or so. I feel myself slowing down a lot and um, well maybe more than the last month or so but um, I feel that the energy of it is very different going into 2022. Maybe it's got my favorite uh, number in it which is six two 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 so um, which is great. I feel that if you're looking I love 369 and just simply because six is in the middle, I feel that that's like the middle part of your journey, like the work part of your journey. The three is the beginning, nine's the, you know, the ultimate goal. Nine of Pentacles, nine of Cups, wonderful number. Also, nine is just, it's a very magical number if you don't know the meaning of it yet. All right, so this reading, this New Year's Eve reading is... To see what you've let go of in 2021, I mean, God knows we've let go of a lot of things in the last couple of years. Um, the state of the world gave us no choice. Things suddenly changed um, and gave us no way out. Just had to do it, right? So we've done it. So I've picked some very important decks here because tomorrow we're going to be looking at what we're going to be embracing in 2022 on New Year's Day. The first day of the year, we're looking at what we're, we've let go in the last year. Now, far you've come, Pisces. So this may resonate with you. I'm gonna pull many, many cards. Um, I have the <clears throat> Chakra Wisdom Oracle. I've got the Daily Healing. I've got the Guardian Tarot. Is where I've always done shadow work with this. I don't use it very much on the channel because it's a darker deck, but I feel that it's appropriate for today. And we have the Power of Surrender cards, which tells you exactly what we surrendered. So we're going to start with these. <clears throat> we're going to go with those, go with the chakra, uh, then the, the guardian tarot, and then we're going to go with um, the healing, the daily healing. Okay? So, For these, I'm going to keep pulling until I feel sufficiently, well, I'm told to stop, let's just say. <laughs> Might be a lot here, okay? And we'll do the extended later, okay? Okay. The first one that comes out is called Surrender Worry. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When weary, worries arise, wor, worries, being weary, yes, being weary as well. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that Spirit is guiding you always. Okay, so... This is what you were being asked to let go in 2021, probably in 2020 as well. And I don't think I've ever had this card come out in any of the readings that I've done in a year, which is really remarkable because I do two readings a day. But this is very, very profound, okay? Um, I like the way that she's on a swing and she is high above. You can see that she's above the towering buildings. So she's getting a higher view of things. And I feel that that's what uh, Spirit was trying to, to let you see this year. That there was a better way of seeing things, a better way of looking at things. Um, and if not, not even a better way, just a different perspective, right? Because when you get focused on something and you get tunnel vision, you focus on it so solely that you start scaring yourself so much. 
um, that you just get stuck in that wheel of repetition. When you go higher above and you get a higher perspective, you see that your worry is one little in a in a big vast um, world of ideas and perspective that could probably snap you out of it a lot faster. I remember when I would get stuck in worries of you know poverty or bills or anything, anything, worry of health, worry of anything. I would do an act of kindness to someone who had it worse, okay? Somebody who, I don't know, we're having a rotten Christmas that, that somebody who'd lost their job, somebody who didn't, you know, couldn't make ends meet. That the fears that I was afraid of happening to me had actually happened to them. And instead, focused on them. And focusing on them made me very grateful for what I had. And instead of worrying about what I may potentially lose that hadn't really happened yet, just focus on the fact that they were okay, that I was helping them. And relieving their stress relieved my stress. It's, it's a weird thing, but it really works. In your, in your darkest moment, help somebody else. Um... At the beginning, I was very skeptical years ago when I started, when somebody told me, when you're having it bad, think of somebody who has it worse and give them a hand. And I learned that and I thought, yeah, that's not going to work. Actually, it works very well and it works wonders. Okay, it works, it works beautiful. It works wonders. When I lost uh, my little girl um, in between the boys, she was stillborn. I went and donated to the ladies who make these little cap and booties for the newborns. You know, the, they knit them and they do it out of their heart, but there was a place you could donate to yarn and, and the stuff so that they could uh, do it for all the newborn babies to have something warm on their head. And it, ga it gave me a great feeling of peace and healing, Pisces, like you've never seen in my darkest day, okay? It's, it feels impossible to do sometimes in the worst moments of your life, but I swear to you that having a heart when your heart leaves you is probably the best way you can keep that connection, okay? So, surrender your worry if you haven't done that in this year, in the last couple of years. This is something you have to really work on because you're heading into a beautiful new journey and worry and fear has no room there. It has no room for you to carry it with you. You need to be carrying hope and wonder and discovery in your heart and not worry. So hopefully you did a lot of that this year. All right, so... Moving on, moving on. <laughs> I'm not promising any tear, no tears on this one, Pisces. I will try. I already had some. I'm so lucky I'm not on camera. You guys would say blubbering Jane. Surrender negative thinking. Oh, God. Or do they have our number or what? Okay. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. Absolutely. And you again have this tree. Yesterday we had this tree in our January reading. The release tree. The tree that was releasing his leaves. Yeah, release that negative crap. Okay. Gotta let it go. That's so... I mean, they, they kind of go hand in hand. So, that was a big plan. For 2020, 2021, negativity, worry, anxiety, okay? Being in the most anxious time in our lives is when we should be able to finally realize that we can have fears, but they don't need to have us, okay? What will happen will happen. We cannot control certain things. If they're meant to happen, they will happen. I'm not saying go out there and just lick everybody. I'm saying that if perchance you were careful and something did happen. Life happens. We're here on a journey, okay? So it's not saying being blatantly disregardful of everybody and just, you know, going, I don't care who you are, I'm doing my thing, because that's the whole different type of attitude. 
I'm saying just, I don't know, believe in yourself. Don't let fear dictate your life. Give yourself some peace. Give yourself a break from worry, from negativity. Um, if you did not shed the negative people around you as well, uh, that was an opportunity to do that. The distance that we shared, and I've heard that from many people, um, they say that if they didn't have the courage to tell somebody, you know, you're really negative and you get on my nerves and I really don't want to hang around with you, 2020, 2021 was a perfect time to kind of just uh, have the perfect excuse of going, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't, okay? <laughs> you had a great opportunity there to even not need um, an excuse. Okay, so just make sure that you stay away from those people. If there's a lesson that you needed to learn from those negative people coming in, uh, I hope you took it, you ran with it, you fixed it. Um, but otherwise, that negative thing, and this is mostly you, okay? This is inside, this is internal that they're talking about, okay? Because we have that little page of swords voice always giving us hell. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. Who do you think you are doing that? Do you think you're good enough to do that? Do you think you're brave enough to do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and if your voice says something, tell them Jane told you so. <laughs> yeah, Jane says so. Jane says I'm brave enough. <laughs> I always tell you, Pisces, have a plan. Be organized. Don't expect, like, things to fall out of the sky. Uh, you know. I always say, you know, don't expect a million dollars sitting on the couch. Well, unless you have a very successful podcast. But, put the work in, okay? Surrender to complete healing. Yes, that's another one. Absolutely. Okay, we've been healing the chakras up and down the energy field. The whole way up, the whole way down. Past hurts, past pains, everything that's coming through. Um, even myself, there's certain things I went, I'm healed, I'm good. Next day, something else came in, thought, woof, yeah, not done. I don't think we're ever really done. I just think that it gets less and less. You deal with the big chunks, and then the little chunks start coming in. Every once in a while, there's something that triggers you, and you go, woof, there's something here. You fix it, you move forward, okay? So, this says, open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. And you know what? If you do a lot of spiritual and emotional healing, it helps with a lot with some of the physical. I'm not saying it's going to fix all your physical because I'm not a healthcare provider. Uh, I have seen a, 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 a doctor, which is a practitioner, not a healer. We've ascertained that in 2021 for myself. Um, but um, you can really do a lot of work on yourself. And remember that sometimes part of the process of healing is that things will kind of um, uh, purge, okay? So your body will have these symptoms that feel weird. I've had that too, where I thought, okay, now what's going wrong? And it's just simply the body readjusting or recalibrating to your new emotionally healed uh, being, your spiritually healed being, okay? So it does recalibrate at one point. If it doesn't, go see somebody, okay? But you should have been working on this. And remember, nothing helps more than keeping the body healthy than taking care of it, which I am guilty of not doing all the time, okay? But I will preach it. <laughs> I'm hearing my father, don't do as I do, do as I say. So Jane is saying, take care of your body. <laughs> I will, um, it's, it's one that I'm still working on. I, I will, I will try, I will try. I'll either do it or they'll send me a sign and stop me to make me realize that I need to do it. So I know this is in my future. They keep telling me, if you don't do it yourself, we'll do it for you. So I'm going to have to take care of it soon, okay? I feel fine. I just know that I need to walk more, breathe more, go in nature more, you know, that type of stuff. So I need to keep this body moving more than I do, so. All right, Pisces. And I'm saying that for the people who actually listen and care, which is all of you, correct, Pisces? I know. 
I do love you too. I do. I feel that we've really built a big community here this year. I'm very happy with it. Such kind comments. Such nice people. Nice. Oh, surrender idea, you can fix someone. Yes. That's the other thing. As Pisces, being empaths, being very sensitive to people's energies, when they come in and they feel wrong, we want to fix. And if you have not let go of that, you need to let go of that. You are only responsible for yourself, Pisces, as much as you feel. That's why at one point I did a protection spell for you to protect your energies. If you go back... I'm sorry, you're going to have to go back a bit. I haven't... I. I I don't remember where it is. Maybe somebody can write the title of the video in the comments so that people have an easier time to access it if you did like that protective spell. So that helps you go out protected from the energetic like blowback that you get when people feel wrong and that stops you triggering you from trying to fix everybody and everything because if your energy feels off because of theirs you want to fix them because you don't want to feel this way, right? So, all right. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Right, right. So, I just said that, right? Yes, I did. Okay. So, really, I feel this is really the four big, big themes of this. Okay, this this were the big ones this year. I'm gonna stop for now. I'm gonna see I'm gonna sneak a peek. Ah, okay, I'm gonna I snuck I snuck a peek at the bottom of the deck and we're gonna talk about this too. Surrender to re to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support from others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Right. Find your tribe is what I I'm I'm kind of doing the the translation of this as finding your tribe finding the people who are on your team okay and that would be me that would be the people who always tell you believe in yourself the people who are not manipulating you to get something out of you but who are always giving you support support and even telling you you figure it out on your own you can do it okay giving you the power to handle your own life Absolutely. So important. I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to leave that there. Okay. So, do I or don't I? I think I might just take out these cards. I'm going to take the chakra cards out. I guess I'm going to do the extended in with the shadow cards. Mm -hmm. And healing. Alright. So, Surrender worry, please give me a, uh, okay, right, there's the impatient card, surrender negative thinking, two cards came out, despondence, and forgiveness, right, okay, oh, okay, they, these just want to come out, surrender to complete healing, mm, two more, impasse, Faith, okay. Yeah, those make all those those all make sense right now. Okay, surrender to the idea. This one just went comes out. Okay. All right. Perfect. These are perfect. Okay. So let me look at these. Okay, surrender to worry. You have impatience here. Yeah. A lot of the worrying that you did, okay, had to do with impatience. It's because maybe things that you were worrying about, um, we're not getting fixed fast enough for you. Okay, sometimes the idea of letting something sit with you is the whole thing. And the biggest part is the blue here. I feel that's a communication chakra, the throat chakra. Okay, when you worry about some things, uh, a lot of people, they say when you, you cry, you cry alone. When you're happy, everybody smiles with you. When you cry, you cry alone. We don't need to live in this world anymore. You don't need to be going on and on about everything that bothers you. But if something is really worrying you, get somebody that you trust, that you love. And just tell them, look, I don't want to bore you for three hours about it, but I'm really staying stuck on this. And when you say it that way, I need to find a way to empower myself to get out of this. What is the issue? 
people love to help, okay? So they may throw around ideas for you to get a different perspective to get yourself out of that, okay? And I love this because the fact that he's trying to get to something that he wants and he's on the ladder trying to get it. And you have this figure beside it, that spiritual figure, almost telling him, you gotta, this is divinely stoppage, divine stoppage, okay? In other words, the stuff that is causing you to worry, that caused you to stop, that caused you to, to fear something, it's asking you to sit on that swing and take a bigger look, a longer look, take a bigger picture, hangman energy, okay? So this is what it's asking you to learn from this, okay? Spirit is saying, this is because you needed to learn something. You need to be patient and let the message come through and worry less and think more about solutions, about what is what is not working in here okay what's causing the source of impatience in you so that makes sense surrender to negative thinking uh, despondence came out in forgiveness so first of all you can have two different reactions to people okay um the negative thinking despondence, I'm thinking that they're referring more to you, the despondent feeling that you feel when um, you talk yourself out of something, you become despondent and go, I can't do this, and you become like non-responding. Despondence is like not responding to your own inner self. You shut down. You just cause too much, and it's like, no, I'm not, you know, I'm out of here. You know, even you can see her like, no, it's too much. You get out of it. And for negative thinking forgiveness, here I feel it's like forgiving yourself uh, because of the child. Also forgiveness of other people. Um, I feel that these masks, I know they're kind of like shaman masks, but it could scare a child, okay? It's like spirit, this, this purple hippo is spirit and everybody who loves you, who protects you from the boogeyman, okay? Um, you scare yourself half the time. These masks are just masks. They're not Ashley people. They're just hung in the bush. Okay? But you're always really protected. So it's time for you to feel protective and get away from that negative thinking. It could also mean forgiveness of people who do bring negativity in. Forgive them. They do not know what they do. You know, that's that's coming in. And I know that's, um, I know that's from religious teachings, but it is something that is meaningful to me, okay? I think it goes, forgive, forgive them, Lord, for they do not know what they do, something like that. And I, I love that. I feel it in myself. Sometimes I think to myself, yeah, just be tolerant because they're not in the same spot as you are, okay? All right. Surrender to complete healing. Um, what came out with this is impasse and faith, right? So a lot of things had to come to pass here with the fate, okay? Had to come to pass from the impasse. The impasse was that you found a different route, okay? You may have thought at one point that you would never be able to heal everything, but you had lots of help. Look at that. The violet light, the guidance, the empress, the the ace of of um you feel the ace of cups you feel the spirit you have the earth energy um there's a lot here and this is you the cups you have all the elements you have spirituality to me that's a faith that's everything that's all of your uh you have air fire earth you have it all here okay it helped you along they helped you along, past loved ones, uh, ancestors. Uh, this is a card of having it all. You have all the help in the world here. It is the purple card, the card of spirituality, um, that helped you heal. You've always had access to it, okay? This impasse card means that you went past this. And the reason that you had to stop here was to find this, okay? This impasse arrived, he showed up to be in your way so that you could get here. Very profound, okay? So that you could heal, so that you could move forward. All right, surrender to the idea you can fix someone impartiality. I love that. This is telling you that you have to sometimes be impartial 
the things, okay? You can't be wholly committed to somebody else's life because then you have a supporting role in your own life and you're supposed to be the lead actor of your life, okay? So you need to find that balance, okay? You need to, there's that scale. You put the balance back into your life and become impartial. And you see the veil around her? That's that protection spell I was telling you about, okay? So I'm going to leave it with this. Uh, it's plenty, actually. And I'm going to come back, pull some cards from the tarot, take some daily healing. We're going to talk some more about what you have been doing in 2021 and what you released. And if you haven't, this is a great guide to do it as quickly as possible so you can start your journey, Pisces. Okay? Take care of yourself. I'm giving you lots of love, light, and blessings. And I'll see you soon.